fact that I read half of it, pretty proud of myself. Do I decorate for fall? This bag? Why is this book making me cry? It should be a crime to go to work on a perfect reading day. All together, I think I have about three hours worth of editing. Um, you guys need to see this outfit where you're just finding things out about Josie and her life is very odd. Hello everyone, it's Kaylin. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Welcome to your new weekly vlog. This part of the vlog is where we chit chat about my reading plans, go over life plans, and just kind of do a quick checkup. So it's currently Monday. It is around, it's 7.50 at night. And I have spent the day working and then after work I had to do some content work So that took up the majority of my evening and I just had dinner and now I'm sitting down with you guys to say Hey, let's just get right into the reading plans. I am reading a book on my Kindle this week I borrowed the bodyguard by Catherine Center from my library and I read the majority of it yesterday, which is in my Sunday reset vlog. If you guys have not seen that, go ahead and watch it because that is where I started this book and talk about this book in that vlog. But I got to 43% of the way through this book and I really like it a lot. You guys, I didn't know how I was gonna like this book because me and romances don't tend to really get along. I'm very picky with how my romances are written and all that jazz. This one, does not feel like it's a romance. It's not written as a romance. I hope that makes sense. This author writes how Emily Henry writes. Not exactly because no one can write like the other person, but you kind of know what I'm saying. The same kind of like vibes. And I am really, really liking this book a lot. So you're following Hannah Brooks, who is basically a bodyguard. She has some fancy name. I can never remember it. And she has had a rough time. Her mom just died. Her boyfriend of a year and a half just broke up with her right before they were supposed to go on this project or this mission or something together for three weeks. And she was kicked off of it in order to stay home and just grieve. So she stayed home for four weeks and then she comes back to work. She's sent to be a bodyguard for Jake, who is a famous actor and he's home in texas because his mom is going through breast cancer treatment so he wanted to be home for that and the reason why he really needs a bodyguard is because he's had a few stalkers one in particular lives in texas that's the one they're most concerned for so she's there to bodyguard him but there's a catch he doesn't want his mom to know so she has to pretend to be his girlfriend and she has to move in on their family ranch and spend the next four weeks or eight weeks four I think it's four weeks there and I have just gotten to the part where she moved in the ranch and I am loving this book so much I cannot wait to pick it up again in a little bit and read more of it so that's pretty much it for the remainder of my TBR I would love to start red white and royal blue at some point this week because I really want to watch the movie so maybe we'll get to it. I'm not sure, but I am listening to an audiobook. It's been a while since I've actually finished an audiobook. All the audiobooks I've started, I haven't really loved and I haven't been able to finish. So I finally started one that I think is going to stick and I think I'm going to finish it. I I'm starting a new morning routine where I listen to an audiobook while I'm getting ready for work instead of like being in my head and in my thoughts and going oh my god it's work and i listen to it on my drive to work on my way home from work so maybe with that i can get this done but it's called such pretty flowers by kl sierra and this book i don't really know much of i am only five chapters in so let me go to the summary to tell you guys more so you're following holly who has a brother named dane and she receives a text from dane saying get me out of here and that's the last she ever hears from him because he ends up committing suicide but she doesn't really believe it's suicide she's not buying it because of how he committed suicide i won't say it, i won't go into detail because it's pretty gruesome and she ends up getting close with his girlfriend who they don't really know much about and she's got like an off feeling about her 
And that's pretty much all I know. I think it's her trying to figure out what happened. And I'm thinking something's going to go down between her and the girlfriend. There's some underlining thing that's happening. He went from being like this clean, put together guy to being the complete opposite where he doesn't shower. He doesn't shave. He doesn't clean up after himself. And then he also started having seizures. And this all started to happen when he got together with his girlfriend. So I'm thinking there's something there, but that's pretty much all I know. I don't want to go too far into the summer because I don't want to give anything away. But from what people are saying, it's a really eerie gothic horror book. Jillian Flynn blurbed it and said this was a must read. So I was like, okay, anything she blurbs, I will read. I love Jillian Flynn. So that's pretty much it for like reading. As far as life plans, I don't really have any this week. So we'll see where the week takes us. But for now, I'm going to watch some YouTube, maybe pick up this book, or maybe I'll just scroll on my phone and watch YouTube, and then we'll get into the bed. Of course, you guys will see all the B-roll, but I will talk to you guys very soon. night where we get ready for bed let's go but also i don't want to go because i don't want to go to work tomorrow let's get ready for bed in bed which i love being in bed but i hate being in bed i love my bed but i hate being in bed on a work night because i just know that i have to go to work the next day why am i like this anxiety but i am about to start reading the bodyguard i'm really excited to get back into this book because i was speeding through it yesterday i almost read half of it in a day which is a pretty crazy concept to me lately use like, old me would have read this book in a day, no problem. Now that I'm taking reading slower, I don't really read books in one day, ever, unless I'm, like, sucked into it and can't put it down. So, the fact that I read half of it, pretty proud of myself. So, we're gonna read some of it right now. And I probably won't speak to you until tomorrow. So until then. Do I decorate for fall? It's August 22nd. Should I? Or should we wait one more week? I kind of want to decorate for fall. My phone's already in fall mode. Can y'all see that? Phone's already in fall mode. My apartment needs to be in fall mode. This is when the fun happens my apartment becomes cozy and i love it i will update you about some things in a little bit i just had this sudden urge to pull out the camera and ask you guys this so maybe we'll decorate next week's vlog i think that'll be it okay goodbye I am so excited to watch this. You have no idea. It wasn't on this morning. How fucking rude of Hulu. Wyatt is here looking so cute. He's in a mood today. Don't know why, but there he is. Hi, it is Tuesday. Can't believe it's only Tuesday. <sighs> Almost there. Almost halfway through the week. 
but it is 6 30 in the evening and i just had dinner i watched maybe 30 minutes of the bachelorette and it's on pause because i'm gonna save it for the morning i kind of want to watch some youtube but i have reading updates and just like a little bit of a haul like a little tiny bit of a haul to show y'all um let's do reading updates so i'm currently reading the bodyguard and i didn't read a whole bunch last night i fell asleep i was pretty tired last night i am 55 of i'm 55 percent of the way through the bodyguard that's pretty much all i can tell you because i don't want to spoil anything but i'm really loving this book a whole bunch so for my audiobook i'm reading such pretty flowers and i i think i already guessed the twist if i did i'm gonna be so upset because it's so obvious but then again it could not be that obvious but i am i'm 32 percent of the way through of such pretty flowers so yeah i you know not mad about it as for the haul i saw this bag like a month ago and it was sold out and it came back in stock last week i literally ran like i was buying taylor swift tickets to the website purchase it yes it's my no spend i know that but like this is an exception because this is gonna be my new fall winter bag it is beautiful okay it's from zara maybe you already know what it is but it's this bag she's so pretty and it's the one with the embroidered um initials i got my initials embroidered on it it was like three dollars more how stunning this is just like the perfect bag i have never owned a bag like this this is like a grown-up bag i've always been like a backpack type girl um there's reasons why i've never owned a bag like this and i think i i don't know if i should go into it or not that i'm working on basically i struggle with feeling feminine as a woman and it is due to me being it was it's due to me being bullied for years and years and years growing up being called awful names being like i'm not even going to detail but basically being put down for my looks and that has always made me feel not pretty not feminine enough like i've always not felt in touch with my femininity but i love being feminine i love wearing makeup i love buying the purses the clothes like i love it all but i've struggled with it i kind of feel like an imposter when doing it and so this year i really wanted to make it my goal to kind of really hone into that and figure out kind of how i can be more in touch with it and like feel like no i deserve to have this because i am beautiful i am a girl i am feminine like i deserve to buy this purse i always so to have a purse like this is a big thing for me because this is such like a girl purse like very feminine very like a woman purse you know what i'm saying so this is a big step for me and will i feel like an imposter wearing it probably but I'm going to wear it until I feel like I deserve this. And, you know, hopefully that all made sense. Sorry for the quick therapy session, but I like to be real with you guys. And that was just a little realness of like me and my head. And yeah, so it's beautiful. This bag is you can wear it on the shoulder like this. Okay. Or you can wear it cross cross body and for me it hits here i am five six so this is where it hits for me i am bigger chest though so maybe if you have a smaller chest it wouldn't it would hit lower but yeah this is what it looks like on me and my body type i really love it i think it's so cute i can't wait to dress it up with all my fall outfits i have already started planning fall outfits my head and i will maybe i'll do a try on later in the week um for my fall outfits maybe on like friday or something i'll do a try on because i'm really excited about this year i'm really stepping into my fashion taste and what i like and what i want to wear again getting in touch with my inner feminine and really just honing into that and like wanting to wear the clothes that i've never been confident enough to wear or never really wanted to wear because again 
I was bullied and I know the bullying was literally like how long ago 11 years ago when I graduated but it still affects me to this day stuck with me for so long so there's a little note for Caitlin. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to say was to show you guys my lovely new purse. I have a little chit chat session. I don't even know if I'm going to keep that in. If I do keep it in, please no mean comments. Please be really nice and caring and because that's a big thing for me to share. I've never really shared that before in my life. I'm going to go watch some YouTube. I'm going to read because I would really love to have this book done by tomorrow night. But we will see, and yeah, I will talk to you guys soon. book making me cry like literally I'm at the part where she um is parting ways and like she's talking to Connie who's um Jake's mom Jack keep messing with his name Jack's mom and she's like you remind me of my mom but not in like a you're just like her and uh you're the mom I wish I had <laughs> I just start crying also my mom's name is Connie so like my mom would be that mom of someone else also Wyatt is here cleaning himself I hope y'all can't I hope you guys can't hear him but he is cleaning himself he's like right here oh there he is so yeah just a little quick update thought I would update you guys in the moment but I am now 65% of the way through this book I have an hour and 42 minutes left of this book and I wish I didn't have to work tomorrow because I could totally finish this book but I'm gonna go read until I pass out. Hello guys. So sorry about this angle and this lighting, but it's currently Wednesday. It's 9.37 at night and I have just finished The Bodyguard. Y'all, where's the Kindle? Finished it on here. I absolutely loved, and I mean loved, this book. I couldn't put it down. I wanted to read it in one sitting. I probably could have if I had the time. I just loved everything about this book. It was so good and I, you know me and romances, we don't really get along. So the fact that I love this romance so much and you know what I think it was? It's because there was literally no smut in it. None. And I, it was just so refreshing to read a romance that had no smut. None. Cause that's, I think, I feel like that's very rare these days to find a romance book with little to no smut. So Catherine Center is going to be on one of my to buy romance authors list. If that's a list, I don't know. But I just placed a hold for her newest book, which is Hello Stranger. I'm pretty sure that's her newest book. Let me, let me do a little search. Yes, Hello Stranger is Catherine Sinner's newest book and I just placed a hold on my library and it's a seven week hold or something. It's a 12 week hold which is fine because the fall time I have two video projects that I'm working on that I'm really 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 excited about. So I'm working on those in like the fall time one's gonna come out in like november the other one's december or maybe the first one will come out in october i think october we'll do october and then the other one in december i'm really excited it's a lot of reading books that aren't my normal types of books but i think it'll be good for me i think it'll be a very entertaining video to see my take on these books 
But now, I need to go pick up another book because I don't go on my phone, like social media, before bed because it keeps me awake. So I read. Usually I read something on my Kindle because that makes me fall asleep the fastest, but I currently don't have anything on my Kindle. And I don't really want to start another Kindle book because I really want to read Lisa Jewell's newest release. Hang on, let me go get it. This is the book I want to pick up next. I know nothing about this book except Lisa Joel is the author and I love her. Any book she puts out, I'm like, give me. So I think this is going to be our next book and I'm going to crack this open and read a little bit of it for now. But I just wanted to pop on really quick, give you this update. I'll talk more tomorrow to you guys, but I had a long day at work. So my long days at work, I don't really film just to kind of give me a break. <laughs> so yeah, I will catch up with you guys tomorrow. It should be a crime to go to work on a perfect reading day. <laughs> I don't want to go to work. It's such a shame to waste my whole day at work when I could be reading in this stunning weather. Not fair. I'm about to show you guys how to make my secret burger, fry, whatever sauce. So this is how it's done. You're not going to be able to see me and I'm so sorry. So take your container. I use a container like this because it has to refrigerate for some time. So you're gonna take mayo, whatever mayo you wanna use. This is what I have in my fridge, this is what I use. This is a big batch, keep that in mind. So I'm just gonna use the rest of it. I can't tell you how much you wanna use for a single serving. I can even tell you how much to use for a batch. I'll just use as much as my heart desires. So there's that. Mayo's done. Ketchup. Again, use as much as you want. I'd say I put about maybe a tablespoon in there. And then sweet relish. I've learned to put a heaping spoonful in. And then a little bit more. It makes it so much better. And then I do, what is this in here? A teaspoon of sugar. You can do less, you can do more. I do a teaspoon. And then a splash of white vinegar. And then you just mix. Mix, 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 mix. And this is what it looks like. And then you pop it in the fridge for 30 minutes. Okay, that's my burger sauce. The ultimatum just dropped. So excited. But I thought we'd do a taste test. And yeah, I dip right out of the container because I live alone. If I lived with someone, of course I wouldn't do this. Tater tot. So freaking good. Let's taste test the grilled cheeseburger. The only thing the cheeseburger is missing is caramelized onions, but I was too lazy to make some tonight. Also, I'm out of Diet Coke. I've been out of Diet Coke for three days. No, two days. As a person, that loves a Diet Coke with her dinner. Like that is what I look forward to every day is that first sip of a freshly popped open can of Diet Coke. And it's so crispy and spicy and carbonated and cold. I don't have it. We're gonna solve that tomorrow. 
We're going to get some tomorrow, but I'm gonna enjoy my dinner and watch the ultimatum. just finished editing my sunday reset routine video it's now exporting so proud of myself also so proud of that video i mean it's not exactly the aesthetic kind of vlog that i was going for but it was a real day in my life a real routine i didn't stage anything it's you know it's a routine that i want to keep and also the editing i'm so proud of it i put a lot of effort into it all together i think i have about three hours worth of editing in this 126 27 minute video so please make sure you guys like it because it would mean a lot to me it was up this past sunday so but now it is what time is it it's 8.16 and I am about to go sit on the couch and do some reading, probably watch some YouTube and that's about it. I am really, really, really craving a Diet Coke, like out of this world craving a Diet Coke, but <laughs> I don't have any, so. That's for me, let's go, let's go read, shall we? you can't hear my fan running if you can't i'm very sorry but it is now friday and this was not the morning i planned i woke up really anxious it happens i'm an anxious girly so i said okay what's gonna make me feel so much better a walk by the water so i got ready and i was like oh my god i should go get a coffee and a ham and cheese croissant from starbucks and that was making me a little anxious because drive throughs make me so anxious. I literally black out when I go to order. I forget what I want. I mispronounce stuff. I jumble my words. And it's literally like anxiety ridden for me. But I knew that would just be so stunning to have. And I was like, okay, it's okay. We've done it before. We know how this goes. And I like... I don't know if this sounds dumb, but I rehearsed what I was going to say on the drive there. <laughs> Anyone else do that? And I get there and the line is wrapped around the building. And I was like, okay, well, there's a Target right there that I know has a Starbucks. So I'll go in there. And I was like, well, I don't know. Like something about going in person and ordering by myself and walking out that made me anxious. So I was like, you know what? We'll just skip it. It's fine. And then... I got really, 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 really anxious all of a sudden, and I was like, we're just gonna go home. So it's an anxious day for me, and that's okay, but I think now that I'm home and I know that I'm not going anywhere, I think it'll calm down. Plus, it could just be because I'm really hungry and I haven't had my coffee yet. So we're gonna make that. But yeah, just wanted to pop on here and say, even I have anxious days that cause me to change my whole day and my whole plans and it's okay. Sometimes you just need to listen to your mind and your body and maybe there's a reason why you're feeling anxious for this particular activity or for on this particular day. And I'm just gonna do a bunch of stuff that makes me feel better. So one, um, reading. I love reading when I'm anxious because it gets me out of my head. Two, this sounds 
really like weird but cleaning helps with my anxiety that could also be why because my place is not in my stand like my place is not up to my standards so that could also be why I'm feeling anxious because it's it's not the cleanest right now I just haven't had time so that could really help me clear my mind and then I'm gonna have a movie night tonight which I'm really excited about um I do these movie nights over on TikTok so if you guys don't follow me on TikTok follow me there but yeah, that's about it. I'm gonna go have, I'm, I'm gonna go fix my bare fix, make my coffee, and read a little bit, and then get to cleaning. But I'm sure I'll talk to you guys at some point today. Nintendo switch cases and I never use it because I always forget I have a switch. This is too pretty not to use. bit later and I finished cleaning the house it's spotless and clean I am about to do a workout I have just been doing the fitness girlies on YouTube that do like the walking workouts I have fallen out of love with working out a while back and I stopped and then one day I decided let me work out again and I forgot how good I feel after my workout and just my mind is better, my anxiety is better, so it's, it's good for my mental health. And I kind of had this realization that I needed to change my mind on working out. I needed to change it from I'm doing this to lose weight because I don't like the way I look to I'm doing this because it makes me feel amazing. It makes my mind clear, it makes my anxiety like disappear, and I feel great about myself after it. So. That's kind of what I've been doing and I realized that weight training was part of the issue because you see weight training a lot on the internet and being like, I lost this much weight from lifting weights and blah, blah, blah. And it's kind of like, that's what was in my mind. So I stopped weight training for about, I wanna say it's been about three months since I actually picked up weights. So we're going to ease back into it because I really wanna get back into weights. I have the urge to and I think that's okay now that I have the urge to and I've changed my mindset, so that's exactly what we're doing. We're doing an arm workout, like an upper body, I think is what it is. Wait, upper, yep, upper body, which is my favorite workout. I hate legs, I'm not a leg girl. To any of you girls who love legs, I understand why you love it, because it grows your glutes, but I hate a leg day. I literally will do everything in my power to not do a leg day, <laughs> so I'm not. So we're just gonna train upper body today see how I feel and I just thought I would share that little tidbit with you guys maybe it'll help someone who's struggling with working out and realizing you don't really like working out and maybe that makes you realize why you don't like working out because you're doing it for the wrong reasons I mean yes of course the weight loss is an added bonus but that should not be your sole focus on working out you should do it because it makes you feel amazing um, hopefully that didn't offend anyone or trigger anyone or anything. I'm just sharing what worked for me, hoping that maybe someone else can make it work for themselves. I know I gotta go because my arm is hurting from holding this camera. And after my workout, I'm gonna shower. And the groceries should be here. And after my shower, I think I'm gonna read a little bit of... None of this is true while my hair dries. And then we'll do our makeup and our hair and then we got some short form content to film. It is about, it's like 11, it's almost noon, which is a little bit later, but it's fine. We have all day. We got nothing else to do and we're taking the day slow and I'm okay with that. So let's stop procrastinating and let's work out. Uh, 
Um, you guys need to see this outfit. And I need you guys to tell me it's as cute as I think it is in my head. <laughs> you guys can't really see it. Let me do a different angle. Duh. Okay. Do you see it? <laughs> like... How stinking cute. And I got my Zara bag. Let me show y'all in the mirror. The lighting is gonna go whack. It's gonna go whack. Okay, this is what it looks like. Who do I think I am? I never wear stuff like this, but this is so cute. And I can't wait for fall. Um, I'm in this because I'm filming content. Like, this is not what I'm wearing today, but so cute. Cannot wait. Cannot wait for fall. Last outfit change. Well, that's a lie. But this is another outfit I'll be wearing for this fall. Except I ordered um, knockoff Boston Burks because I was not paying $168 for them because I'm saving money. And also because I have a trip to pay for in October, so. <laughs> but this is it. Very cute, very comfortable. I love it so much. These jeans are so comfortable and I'm so sorry they no longer sell them. But I'm sure they sell something similar. But they're so comfortable, highly recommend. They're the American Eagle Skinny Kick jeans they're high-waisted but not that high-waisted like you know but i really love them very comfortable 10 out of 10 oh and this is from h&m camera sony okay goodbye that is in fact the best sound in the whole entire world it's time for a midday coffee and i'm so excited oh let me show you guys what i'm actually wearing today let me show y'all, let me show y'all. I got one more video to film. That's a really bad angle. Let me do it this way. Oh, that's also a bad angle. You get the gist of what I'm wearing. We got, yeah, I'm wearing this Halloween shirt. It's so comfortable, y'all. If you guys have not had an American Eagle t-shirt, they are so comfortable, and I don't know if every one of their t-shirts are this comfortable. I probably shouldn't be talking because you can hear the Nespresso machine, but they're so comfortable. Also, I'm wearing airy sweat shorts. I don't know exactly what they're called, but they're also very comfortable. And then just white socks from Amazon and my Birkenstocks. That's it. That's my outfit. But now we're going to have a midday coffee and film my last video. And then I'm done. No, we gotta take Instagram pictures. And then I'm done. Okay. What a stunning angle. I'm here in my bed. I never sit in my room or chill in my bed other than to go to sleep. Is that weird? I don't know. I used to all the time when I lived with a roommate. Um, because obviously this was like my space. And now that I live on my own, it's like my... My entire apartment is my space, so like I just don't feel the need to sit in here. But my goal this winter is to make this room as cozy as possible and like me want to spend time in here. So the one thing I really want to get is a projector because my walls are so big and my ceilings are so tall. I just feel like a TV would look so odd on this wall. So I would rather get a projector and like a bigger screen. So that's what I'm going to do, but that's not the point of this. I have just finished all my content work. The last, well, kind of filming and stuff like that is done. I have to schedule my Sunday reset video, but I can do that tomorrow. Actually, we should probably do it today. I don't know, today or tomorrow. The one thing I really need to do is get a hang, is to get a start on editing this vlog. Because I just don't want to do it tomorrow. But... I thought I would just sit in here and read some of this book. I have not talked to you guys about this book yet, but I am actually 70, no, <laughs> 83 pages in this book. I thought I was only 70 pages, 83 pages into this book and I'm really liking it a lot. Um, let me tell you a little bit about this book because I literally knew nothing about this book and I also haven't really heard much about this book. But we are following two women who are both celebrating their 45th birthday. And they run into each other at the bar. Pub. Sorry. It's in 
England, the UK. I'm not exactly sure. I think it's close to London is where they are. And one's name is Alex and Alex is married to Nathan. They have two younger kids and she has a podcast that she's doing a series called All Women. And then the other woman is Josie who has a very strange life. Um, she's married to this guy named Walter and her and Walter are 30 years age gap, which, I mean, you love who you love, but something that just doesn't sit right to me, especially they met when she was 13 and got married when she was 19. Like that, what is a 40 something year old doing with a 19 year old? You know what I'm saying? That's just very weird to me. Hopefully that doesn't offend anyone. That's just me. Um, and they have two older children together. I guess they're full blown adults now. I should say, who we don't really know much about. The one still lives at home, but it's very weird. Like they don't, you don't see the girl and she leaves baby food for the girl and she's trapped in the bedroom. Like, I don't exactly know what's going on in that situation. I hope we find out because I'm curious to see what that's about. Anyways, so they run into each other. They have a quick chat, realize they were born the same day in the same hospital. And then Josie kind of becomes obsessed and finds out everything she can find out about Alex and she realizes like she has a podcast. So she figures out where Alex's kids go to school, which happens to be where her girls went to school when they were young. And so she walks the dog over there and she like runs into her and she wanted to talk to her. She's like, oh, all the time, blah, blah. And then they finally like arrange like a time and she comes to Alex and she's like, I want to change everything about me, blah, blah, blah. And I feel like it would be good for you to help me because you deal with women who have already changed. I want you to help me change. She's like, this would be great for a podcast. So basically they have a podcast series together where you're just finding things out about Josie and her life is very odd. So I'm intrigued about this book and I just want to know more, you know, and I think... That's what Lisa Jewell is so good at, is writing books and stories that make you just want to keep flipping the page on the edge of your seat and just very interested in it. Like one of my favorite books all time is, um, hold on, I need to find it. This is really embarrassing. It's like one of my favorite thrillers and I always forget the name of it, but it's by Lisa Jewell. Then She Was Gone absolutely incredible thriller. If you have not picked that thriller up, please do yourself a favor because it's so good even my mom read it and said it was fantastic so very excited i think i've pretty much read all of lisa joel's backlist the only one that i really didn't like was the night she disappeared wasn't a favorite of mine from her um but i'm hoping this one's gonna be good here with my midday coffee i never drink a midday coffee midday coffee but I needed it for a video and so I'm gonna drink it. It's not gonna go to waste. Um, so I'm gonna drink it and I also have a movie night tonight. So kind of need the caffeine to stay awake. So I'm gonna get into reading, quit chit chatting cause this is also me procrastinating and I will chat to y'all in a little bit. Jump scare, no makeup. Um, changed my shirt because I don't want to get anything on it when I'm eating dinner. But I just wanted to document my first sip of Diet Coke because I haven't had Diet Coke in three days. Do you hear that sound? Ugh. Ready? Oh my God. Oh my God. Why is that so good and you guys be like Kaylin it's just diet coke you don't understand my diet coke drinkers out there get it y'all get it diet coke we get it we're besties we understand it and I think diet coke drinkers are on another level like we're a, we're built different okay um that's all I wanted to say I'm about to watch the ultimatum because I started it yesterday I never finished it 
I haven't really been in the mood to watch like regular TV. I've kind of just been watching YouTube, which is good because I'm supporting creators. But we're going to watch The Ultimatum. Also, I have to look up some things for the movie night that I'm hosting tonight over on TikTok. We're watching Whiplash. I don't know much about it other than Miles Teller is in it, and that's why you need to tell me. Um, but I do like to research the director, the actors, what is going on about this film. Because um, I just like to know. I think I find it very interesting. So I need to do that at some point. It says it's on Hulu, but I also need to double check that because sometimes the internet says it's on one streaming service and it's not on there. And it's like so frustrating, but this is the movie I really want to watch. If it's not anywhere on streaming, I got to figure out a new movie because that's really what I want to watch. Okay, I'm going to go have dinner now. I would show you, but it's literally the same dinner I've been having for the past week <laughs> because I meal prepped it and had... I don't need to explain myself. I just meal prep food. Okay, I'm gonna go. Look how stunning. We have the candles. That's probably reckless of me to have it on top of my record player. What are you gonna do? I'm so excited. Currently in the process of filming the TikTok for it, but I'm almost ready to lay down and turn on the movie. We're watching Whiplash, which I'm so excited for. I don't know much about Whiplash, so I looked up some facts, so I'm going to tell y'all about it because I knew nothing. All I knew was Miles Teller was in this film, and I said sold. J.K. Simmons is also in this film, and it is loosely based off the director's real-life story of being a drummer. Um, the director is Damien, let's see, Damien Chazelle. Chazelle. I'm probably mispronouncing that. And so it's loosely based off him. So Miles Teller plays him and he's in this competition for jazz music or something like that. And JK Simmons ends up being his like coach or whatever. And it's supposed to be like really intense, dramatic, like abusive, that type of like really dark story. And Miles Teller actually, um, has musical background, he can play the drums. So he actually played his drums himself in this entire movie, which was incredible. So there was weeks of intense training for this movie. And actually the movie was only shot in 19 days. They were done filming in 19 days. Like how crazy is that to think about it? And I guess the way it's edited is for that reason of making it feel like boof, boof, because it's name is Whiplash. So they want you to get the physical and metaphorical term of the whiplash so like physical the drummers like whole career metaphorically just the way the characters go through it which is kind of interesting and this award was the lowest gross movie that actually won academy awards i think it won three academy awards and jk simmons actually won an oscar for his role in this movie which is really cool and anything else oh this movie solely has jazz music on the soundtrack which is cool and I think that's pretty much it. Um, that's pretty much all my notes about this movie. There was a lot of facts for this movie, but those are kind of like the just, and I'm really excited. It's only an hour and 47 minutes long, so it's not terribly long, but it's long enough that I'm gonna be up past my bedtime, which is okay. So I will probably talk to you guys after I finish the film or tomorrow to tell you my thoughts. I, but I have my journal here to write down my thoughts and I'm very excited.
currently 9.54 in the morning and it is Saturday. I almost said it's Sunday. <laughs> I've had a very productive morning. Um, I was woken up by my cat at um, 6.30 wanting fed. I didn't go to bed till after midnight, which is not my favorite thing in the world and I tend to not do that a lot, but I watched Whiplash, which I'll get into in a minute, and my adrenaline was going and then I decided to edit my TikTok video and I had over like 30 minutes of footage for a TikTok video and I managed to edit it down to seven minutes, which is I think pretty great, the, the beauty of editing. And I have the 10 minute feature on TikTok, so I post longer videos on TikTok because I don't know, I just have a lot to say. I'm a talker when it comes to stuff I'm really passionate about and really love. And I just feel like three minutes isn't enough. And I know it's possible to cut it down to three minutes, but like I had so much to say about this movie. I was like, you know what? If people wanna watch it, they'll watch it. If not, it's fine. I'm putting it out in the universe because I'm really proud of that TikTok video. And I really like how I edited and what I said and how I articulated my words. So if you guys wanna watch it, go watch it. Make sure you guys follow me on TikTok because I am very active on there. So let's get into first reading updates because I did manage to read. Is this crooked? No, it just looks crooked. Is it this? Ah, there we go. Okay. Um, I did manage to read um, up to page 109. And none of this is true. I think I'm about a quarter of the way through. Let me check. I'm actually 28% of the way through this book and I am really liking this book a lot. I love the kind of mysterious vibes we're getting when it comes to Josie and there is kind of an underlining obsession when it comes to Alex for Josie. She's taking little stuff from her house and like keeping them as keepsakes which is kind of reminds me of what a serial killer does with their victims. They keep something like they keep trophies so i don't know that's like that information's going in my brain and i'm like hmm so i'm thinking about it but yes really enjoying this i'm planning on reading this a bunch when i go to my parents because it's saturday it's family day i'm going to my parents and i'm so excited to see the dogs and of course my parents i do feel a little anxious today and i'm not sure why that is or maybe it's anxious excited i don't i don't really know but planning on doing lots of reading as far as whiplash let me take a drink of water this is your water check my water's lukewarm because i forgot to fill the ice tray last night before going to bed so i had no ice this morning uh, I can't wait to go to my parents house and fill this bad boy up with ice because they have a fridge with like an ice maker I really need to get an ice maker but I don't know where the heck I'd put it in my apartment like I have no counter space for an ice maker I'd probably put it on the dining room table anyways so let's talk with Blash first off let me just show you my notes okay and I don't do this for every movie so you know it was good <laughs> Like, I'm thinking I just need to get a journal with, a, like, a film journal. But I kind of like the fact that this journal is just everything in this journal. Like, I talked about it before. It has all my journal entries. It's got movies I want to watch, video ideas, lists, my favorite things. It's, it's, it's got grocery lists in here. Like, it's got a lot of stuff in here. And I kind of like that it's that way. I know people say you should keep your journal and your to-do list separate because it becomes like not a comforting place, but I don't, my mind doesn't think about that when I sit down to journal. Anyways, so, all right, so let's get into my notes on Whiplash. So, Whiplash, the movie, I don't know if I mentioned how like it was supposed to show the audience the physical and metaphorical of Whiplash and you truly feel it and see it. Like I remember the first moment I saw it was when you see the scene with Fletcher kind of tearing, not kind of, literally ripping this guy's ass apart on not knowing he was out of tune and he's just degrading this guy he's being so mean calling him all sorts of names being verbally abusive and he's like 
get out of my classroom. And then the next scene you see him come up to Andrew and is like engaging in a conversation, being relaxed and cool. Like, oh, that's cool, man. You know, just relax, just have fun. So Andrew goes into it being like, okay, I'm just gonna have fun. And that was the first moment I was like, what? And then you see Fletcher take his rage out on Andrew because Andrew is not living up to his tempo that he likes. It was just insane. And you also see Andrew kind of change his personality to kind of fit Fletcher, which is, you know, is not good. And I just think the whole dynamic between the band and the instructor was so unhealthy. They were like scared to breathe without being like cued, which no. And I understand why, why JK Simmons got an Oscar for his role in Fletcher because incredible yeah Fletcher's a real dick and ass but I just can't believe that JK Simmons was able to play a character like that and play it so realistically like whoa we've I've had a very productive morning I have cleaned up the house a little bit like just tidied it like did the dishes made the bed cleaned up clothes stuff like that and then I edited to TikToks and I scheduled Sunday's video so I'm feeling good about that which means I can relax the rest of the day, hopefully. I don't know, I'm feeling very anxious right now. You know that tightness in your chest? That's what I'm feeling right now and I don't know why. But okay, I'm gonna go to my parents' house. You guys are gonna get all the B-roll. Maybe I'll actually talk to you guys when I'm there because my mom's making homemade pizza, like homemade sauce and homemade dough. <laughs> so maybe we'll do that. I don't know, but we'll see where the day takes us. almost 12 30 and i have yet to talk to you guys today i didn't really talk to you guys yesterday which was not my plan at all i updated you guys in the morning i went to my parents and i kind of just spent time with my parents all day i felt really anxious yesterday which i think i said when i talked to you guys in the morning and it just didn't get any better and then me and my dad were going through some stuff and i found a picture of me with my dog ollie when i went and picked him out and if you guys don't know, because I know I have a lot of new subscribers here, which thank you so much if you're new. Um, I lost my dog, Ollie, in January. And he was 12 years old. And he was a golden retriever. And he was what you would call a soul dog. He was literally there through the toughest times in high school. He saw me graduate. He saw me get into horses and he was there for me when I would go to the barn and he would just run around. He was there when I moved out. He was there when I got my heart broken. He was there for when I fell in love. He was there through it all, okay? And even he was there all the way up until me moving out officially on my own without a roommate. And he was my best friend and it was... It was really hard losing him. Probably the hardest loss I've ever experienced in my life. I mean, growing up we've always had dogs and I think I've just never been attached to them like I was with this dog because this was my dog. Like even my, like my dad was also really attached to him. I mean, so was my mom, but like my dad that like we, that was like our buddy. And yes, he was my dog and he did live with me and all that, but 
yeah, there's a whole story that I tell about my dog and like the journey we've been through, which I'll leave that video link down below um, because I don't really want to get into it now. But finding that picture just brought up those feelings again. I don't know. Grief is a weird thing, especially when it comes to an animal, because you don't want to downplay it and say, oh, it's just an animal, because a lot of people that don't have dogs or an animal don't really understand. But they're family too and when you lose a member of your family be it an animal or a person it's really hard so I just I don't know I don't know how to deal with it because this it's my first like true loss and yeah like it was in January and we're in August but it still comes in waves and I don't know anyone who is out there who has dealt with losing a pet knows the how just how hard it is so yeah so that kind of I cried for so long yesterday and this so that's why i didn't really pick up the camera yesterday i just needed that moment and that's okay i hope you guys understand that but um i woke up this morning and i went for a walk by the water as you guys saw which is my new favorite thing to do and i cannot believe that i've lived in this town for three years it'll be four next year it'll be four in december and i've i have never done that and I've just been doing it recently. Like, I'm like, Kaylin. So I'm really excited to have that in my Sunday routine. And I'm really excited to see it change as the seasons change. Like, I just, I was walking today along the water. And there is a, like, forest that lines it. Like, a tree line, I guess I should say. And I was just picturing it in fall. And I'm like, this is going to be stunning when the leaves start to change. And yeah, I really, really liked it a lot. I listened to more of my audiobook that I was listening to, Such Pretty Flowers. And let me see how far into the book I am in now. I'm 63% of the way through it. Not really, nothing really has changed or really gone on with this book. It's just a weird book, okay? And it's kind of boring if I do say so myself, but I'm curious to see what the twist is if I'm and if I'm right so that's why I'm keeping on with it it's a long audiobook like I've already listened to six hours and I have three hours and 41 minutes left so it's I mean that's I think it's pretty long for like a mystery thriller to me um yeah so I listened to that and it was chilly by the water it was like 62 degrees which is cold for this time of year especially in Ohio and I, it's been like I'm looking at it now and it's like clear skies it's blue but it's the sun is kind of peeking in and out behind the clouds I don't know it just it's a very cool day which is nice because it's supposed to be cooler this week and then by the time we hit the weekend which it's Labor Day weekend it's supposed to get up to the 90s again which I guess is good for people who like go to the lake or the beach or wherever on Labor Day weekend and have like one last weekend of summer so that's, you know, I can't be mad about that, but I am just excited that if summer in my head is officially coming to close, I know it doesn't come to an end until like fall starts, but in my head after Labor Day, it's fall. And I'm really excited about it. Anyways, so I did that and I was productive all this morning. I did wake up with a kind of a pain I don't want to say it's a sore throat because that's not what if because it's only on like this side like from here down it was just really painful to talk to chew to drink it was just really odd so I took some ibuprofen and I'm feeling so much better I'm feeling so much better it was very odd I don't know if I slept on my neck wrong maybe and like that's what that was I do have reading updates um I forgot this book when I went to my parents' house. I pulled in their driveway and I looked down and I go, I forgot my book. I was so upset because I wanted nothing more to sit on their porch and read this book because I want to get this book finished by the end of the day, but I don't know if it's going to happen because I'm on page 150 and there's 366 pages. So I don't know if it's going to happen. I'm not going to push myself to finish this book if I can't today. Like, I'm not going to read so fast that, like, I need to finish this book. But I think I'm going to get very close to finishing this book today because I want to know, like, what is up with this Josie girl? Like, I need to know because more and more things are coming out. I'm just like, I don't even know. Like, I have a theory in my head, but then something happens. I'm like, that can't be right. My theory is done. So I don't really know. I don't know so that's pretty much 
all that's going on. I have been productive this morning. I did my meal prep. I did laundry. I took a shower, which is why my hair looks like this. It looks nice and blown out because I did blow it out. Um, I read some more and I've just been catching up on booktube because I have not watched booktube in a while. I've been watching Megan Hughes. I've been watching Meg Hughes um, backlist on all her vlogs and I've just kind of like ignored booktube for whatever reason but now I'm getting back into booktube and I have so many videos in my save for later playlist and it's kind of embarrassing how many videos I have in that playlist. I never have this many videos so I'm really excited to just kind of binge them all today which is my plan because I'm listening to my body and my mind and all I wanted to do like I have the strongest urge to sit on the couch and read all day and that is what I'm doing. I'm listening to my body and that's what I'm doing because usually Sundays I'll be like let's be productive and blah blah. No. So I'm going to quit rambling. I'm going to go read again. And I'm sure I will talk to you guys again at some point. Hopefully with like a bigger update with this book. But yeah. Oh, also I my Sunday reset video went up today. I did the promotion for that. And I also edited some TikToks. Like a lot of TikToks that I had to edit. Uh, they're edited. So if you have not watched my Sunday reset routine video, go ahead and watch it after this video though finish this video and then watch my sunday video um and my tiktoks if you don't follow me on tiktok make sure you guys do because i am trying to upload once a day every day and i'm trying to up the quality of my tiktok like i'm really finding my style uh, because i just i watched this video that this girl was talking about why you aren't feeling successful on tiktok and blah blah, blah and she kind of went into it and she was saying you're not going to like it if you only stick to one niche and you feel like you have to stick to one niche and if you feel like you have to upload four videos a day. And I had this realization that, I, oh my god, this is my page. I can upload what I want. So I'm uploading like a mix of things that I love. Um, bookish content, lifestyle content, hauls, all of that. Um, routines, movie nights. I'm just very excited for like how my content is evolving over there on TikTok and as well as over here on YouTube. My editing style, I'm really, really loving at the moment. Like I've already edited most of this vlog. I just have today's footage that I'm going to have to edit and I really, really love how it's turning out. So hopefully you guys notice that I've put a lot more effort into my editing style and all that in my vlogs. If you don't, that's embarrassing for me, but I hope you did. Yeah, so I'm gonna go read. I'm actually gonna charge this camera because it's flashing at me. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, night, evening, morning, wherever you are in the world. I hope it's been wonderful. And I will talk to you guys at some point today. Oh, I didn't realize this was already recording. How did that manage to happen? I don't know. Oh, the wires on the wall, that's not cute. Can you look at this way? In this way? The amount of cat hair on my shirt is kind of disgusting. But what are you gonna do? I have cat. Who is right here? Get him, he's like a baby. He's very sleepy because he just woke up from a nap. But, hello guys, it is 4.58 and I have finished None of This Is True by Lisa Jewell and you guys, I'm conflicted with my rating. I don't even know if I wanna rate this book because I'm so conflicted. So, Josie is a unreliable narrator. You come to learn. She's crazy, okay? That's rude. She's not, I don't know. She's got something wrong with her in the head. And because she's an unreliable narrator, the whole time she's speaking, you're kind of questioning, is this true? I don't know if this is true. And the way it's written is you don't really get much insight into the husband or her two children, like at all until like the end of the book, like, the, like literally until like part three, I think, or maybe part four. I don't know, somewhere around there is when you get to know, like look inside like how the husband was and how the two children were and like what actually happened. And then the ending of this book, it all the ends didn't tie together. Like there was still some loose, loose ends left flowing in the wind because the very last 
chapter you get is from Josie's perspective and she tells what happens that night but because she's an unreliable narrator and her kids are telling a totally different story it's kind of like I, I don't know and like you have the the mom and the husband that we did like we saw her Josie's mom and saying like she just makes up these narratives in her head to like fit her weird like narrative that she has about everything and I'm like okay that's really when I was like I was already questioning if she was an unreliable narrator and then like when that was said I was like yeah she definitely is like as I said it was her telling what happened that night I'm like so and it's completely different from what like we just heard from the children and it's like is this like what I don't understand but am I thinking too far into this because we know she's an unreliable narrator so she's making up her own truth of like what happened to make her feel better. I don't know. I need to speak to Lisa Jewell. Lisa Jewell, if you're watching this, can you message me? Because I need to really know. I don't like when books end this way because I am a type A person. I like there to be a point A, a point B, and a point C when it comes to books. And maybe a point D if the book's really long. Wrap it all up, things come together, unless it's a part of a series. But when books, especially thrillers, end in the way where it's kind of like you have to guess what the ending is and what really happened I'm like I hate that and Lisa Jewell never really does that usually hers like wrap up really nicely so this one I'm just like I don't know how I feel about it definitely not my favorite Lisa Jewell however it did keep me wanting to read and flip the pages and just like find out what happens because Josie is just such an interesting character that you're like all right like what's her deal like what makes her this way I don't know those are kind of my thoughts with this book I think I'm gonna write it like a 3.5 maybe a 4 I don't throw the book I don't know if you guys have read this book let me know your thoughts because I would really love to know what you guys are thinking but because it's 5 p.m. And if you're a regular viewer on the channel, you know, I end my vlogs at 5 p.m. on Sundays because Sunday scaries are real. And this is the time where I take to just not have to think about picking up the camera, not have to thinking, not have to think about reading, not have to think about doing all that. It's like me time. So that's what we're doing. I'm ending this vlog now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. If you want to stick around, make sure you guys are subscribing because I would love to have you here and join the family. If you don't follow me on my social medias, I'm on TikTok and Instagram. They'll be linked down below for you guys. I would love if you follow me on there. And I hope you guys are doing well, reading lots of good books, and being kind to yourself and to others around you. And I will see you guys in my next video. Peace. That was, that was so weird. Okay, bye.